Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. How's your week been? I hope you've been absolutely crushing your daily goals and getting closer day by day to your goals. Now that is what is important, right? Now in this video, I bring you an interesting topic, which is daily stretch goals. Remember, I'm not talking about far-fetched goals in the future. I'm talking about daily goals, which are actionable things that you can do on a day-to-day -day basis. And ultimately doing that regularly will get you to your final goals. Now, in this video, the interesting twist that I bring to daily goals is that of stretch goals. Now, these type of daily goals will help you achieve more scientifically without stress. So let's discuss that in this video. Now, before we get started, if you have not yet subscribed to this channel, please do consider subscribing. That would motivate me a lot and I would really appreciate that. And if you have not yet subscribed and um, you find this interesting, please do subscribe and comment below. I subscribed and I will reply to you with a personalized motivational quote. All right. So let's get started. And do remember at the end of this video, like first I will talk about how uh, we can implement this and then to solidify and make it very, very practical for you. I'll go through a few examples. So that will help you actually put it into practice in your own life. So do stick around. All right. So let's get started. First, I introduce to you a dichotomy. Okay. So this is an interesting thing. Now, again, a dichotomy is two seemingly contradictory things, right? And again, we are talking about daily goals. We are not talking about goals far into the future. Do remember that. Now, let's talk about a dichotomy. Again, as we've discussed, when we discuss dichotomy, we have two sides. Now, on one side, we have that we need our goals to be hard because hard goals are more effective than easy goals. Okay, so we'll come to that if you're not aware of this, but this is something which is uh, studied a lot like if you have hard goals they are more effective in motivating you etc so let's first talk about the dichotomy so on one side we know that we need hard goals because that is what is more effective in pushing us and making us successful in life all right again this comes from goal setting theory now on the other side of the dichotomy we have that if your goals are too difficult then it will lead to frustration demotivation, burnout, and you won't be able to achieve your goals. Now, is this not an interesting dichotomy? On one side, it says we need our goals to be hard. But on the other side, it says too difficult goals will not help us. Okay. Now, what's the starting point of this video? Again, we have established this dichotomy. And the starting point again is something that I can assume, which is that all of you want to achieve more in life, you want to be successful. And for that, as I've just stated now, it's very important that you set for yourself hard goals or in other words, hard goals are better than easy goals. Again, just taking a moment and then we'll come back to our dichotomy. Now, why is this the case? Why is it that hard goals are better than easy goals? Now, let me give you two reasons for that, which will make it very, very intuitive for you and which will help you easily understand this. The first reason is that Hard goals are better at motivating us. Again, goals are like a compass, right? It gives us direction in our life. Now, hard goals give us better motivation, right? Just think about it. Like, let's say you have a person in your mind who has, uh, who's setting very, very easy goals. Like, let's say they just want one percentage increase in their salary in a year, or they, they just want to do a little, little better than what they're doing. Okay. So that's one person. There's another person who wants to achieve a lot, who wants to uh, actually make their life mean something, who wants to have some impact or things like that. All right. Now, who do you think would be more motivated to put in extra effort? It will definitely be the person who has set for himself hard goals, right? So that is why, again, very it's very important to achieve more. You need to have hard goals because only hard goals will motivate you. Now, one more reason which I have for you is that if you set up, if, if you go about doing something, right, you plan to do something and let's say for the same thing, you give yourself one month in one case and in the other case, let's say for the same thing, you give yourself one week. Now, it is very likely that, and again, it's not probably not applicable for all things, but for many things, it would be true that you would achieve the same thing in one month also 
and you could probably do the same thing in one week also. This is what is called the Parkinson's law. Okay, so in other words, work just expands to the amount of time you give it. Like probably you could do the same thing in six months also. It depends on what you decide, right? If you want to do it in one week, you'll put in more effort and get it done. If you want to do the same thing in one month, that's also possible. And you would feel as if you utilized your time properly in this case also. And you would be able to do the same thing in six months also with the feeling that you were actually putting in effort. Now, this is what you call the Parkinson's law, right? So you have two reasons over here, which makes it very clear to your mind why it's important to have hard daily goals. Again, what's the reason? They motivate you more and you probably would achieve more if you have hard goals because if you set, set, try to do the same thing with less effort and more effort, you, you could do it. Like you could do the same thing with one week and with one month. In this case, you put in more effort and in this case, you put you tend to put in less effort. And again, of course, at the beginning, you don't know this, right? This is just an analysis. But in life, you just move in one line Again, this is just an analysis, right? And you don't know this in real life. You just move ahead in one line. So you don't know that you could have done the same thing in one month or like you could have... Again, this is just an analysis, right? You don't have this information in real life. In real life, let's say you plan to do the same thing, this thing over here in one month, you just proceed in the in that line and you don't know that you could have done in could have done this. So in real life, you don't know this, right? You just plan probably to do something in one month and go ahead with it. And you did not know that you could have achieved the same thing in one week. So again, that's why it's important that you set for yourself hard daily goals. Now, coming back to the dichotomy that we discussed, we have established that we do need hard daily goals. But at the same time, too difficult goals will lead to frustration, demotivation and burnout. Now, let's discuss how you can solve this dichotomy. So that's going to be the first part. OK, so that's the how over here. And then let's discuss a few examples to make it very practical for you. Now, in this part over here, in the how, we're going to discuss a different way of setting hard goals. All right. So let's dive right in. Now, again, remember, we are talking about daily goals or systems, not about goals out in the future. Now, let's draw two diagrams to understand this in a better manner. So over here on the left part, you have the a classical way of setting hard goals. So you can see you want to go from here to here to here. And again, over here, you have a different way of setting goals. Okay. Now notice that in both these cases, where you're starting and where you want to end up is the same, right? So you're starting at the same level and your goal is to reach at the same place. Okay. So let's come back to this and let's discuss these two methods and try to understand how we can actually implement this in our life. So over here, what's the interesting part? The interesting part is that the unit that you're tracking is this much over here, right? It's quite a lot. And over here, the unit is quite little, right? For example, in this case, if you were trying to read a book, the unit would be completing one chapter, okay? And in this case, probably the unit is something much smaller, like reading one page or reading two pages. OK, so that's the difference between these two approaches. Now, what is it that we can learn from these two approaches? In this approach, 
where again you're setting hard goals but the unit is quite large you could be trying to attempt it and then you could be failing and you could be not achieving your daily goal and this could lead to frustration because the goal that you have set for yourself is indeed a hard one and you're not able to achieve it it could lead to burnout and demotivation but on the other hand if the unit that you're measuring is very small then notice what would happen you would achieve it you would achieve it you would achieve it and you would keep climbing the stairs okay so remember it's very important that you break down your goals intelligently and that's the different way right over here again remember please give me a moment we are talking about hard goals itself we are not talking about leaving it at a very tiny goal like reading a few pages so let's go ahead and take a look at the second part over here so the first part as we've discussed is that the unit should be small it should not be very big because if you have a hard goal and the unit is very big it will lead to frustration and burnout but if the unit is small notice over here that success will breed success you have achieved your first unit so you have succeeded so you proceed you proceed you proceed and in this way you will see that success will breed success and then because the unit is small we don't stop at just one unit but rather we stretch so that's the two step process so instead of thinking of a hard goal as one thing which is one large chunk in this method we see that we have to break down the hard goal into a smaller unit and then stretch now you may say that this is just a different way of thinking but it is a way which actually will work so notice over here that even though the unit was smaller like you can see over here still the ultimate level that you reach could be the same right you can see that this is approximately the same amount right so even though your unit is smaller eventually you can aim for the same amount of work getting done as having a larger unit so that's why both of these are actually hard goals in its hard goals right because we have discussed we need hard daily goals but the difference over here is that your unit is too large which can lead to frustration and burnout but over here the unit is small so you aim to achieve one unit and then you stretch okay so we are not stopping at one unit but we stretch as well and in such a manner you can achieve a lot so what's the technique that we have discussed the technique of setting daily hard goals hard daily goals again it it is a two step process instead of a one step process where you set a big goal for yourself on a daily basis we have broken down the process of setting hard daily goals into two steps so step number 1 again let's just contrast it over here this is the traditional approach of setting hard daily goals which is like you have one big unit over here but the better way is you set for yourself a smaller unit and then you don't stop there you stretch okay so we are actually splitting our daily goal setting into two things one we have a smaller unit so we target this and our mind is at ease we we are not frustrated this is something that we can definitely do but then at the same time we don't stop at achieving one unit we always try to stretch in this manner we have a hard goal but at the same time we have the benefit of a small goal as well and it does not lead to burnout or frustration now let's take a look at a few examples to help you actually practically implement this in your life so we have four people over here we have ann we have bob we have kathy and we have don and ann is preparing for test prep bob is trying to learn a language Kathy is trying to prepare for coding interviews and Don is trying to do a creative task he's trying to write a book so let's see both approaches the traditional hard daily goal setting and this new way for both of these okay so let's take a look at that so first we have Anne over here she is preparing for test prep okay now the way that she should not be approaching is like thinking of a hard daily goal as such as complete permutations chapter now this is a hard goal yes a hard goal which is good but this is something that probably she may not achieve and it could lead to frustration and burnout so the right way is break this hard goal into two steps so the first step over here is she could be thinking as let me learn topic 1 under permutations and let me do two problems so this over here is a smaller unit compared to what you have over here 
but then she knows that she does not stop at this once she has achieved this she always remembers to stretch so she stretches and she does 10 problems probably she is reached somewhere close to what she had in mind over here as well okay now she could stretch even more but again the important thing is she thinks of a smaller unit and then without fail she stretches so that's what we call daily stretch goals now let's take a look at the life of bob he's trying to learn a language now he could be thinking of let me learn 50 new words now this is the traditional hard daily goal right though this will not work so a better way would be bob could think let me learn 10 words so this is a smaller unit and once he has achieved this without fail he always tries to push push himself he tries to stretch let me write let me learn 10 more words let me learn 20 more words so you can see that the big hard goal is broken down into two steps a smaller unit and then without fail stretching so that's what is actually helping bob to move forward now let's take a look at the this principle in the life of kathy she is preparing for coding interviews okay now she should not be thinking let me set a goal of let me do three practice problems so that's not a good goal a better way would be have a smaller unit let me learn one method of doing a problem and then without fail she tries to stretch let me die let me try to do two problems let me try to do three problems so again this is something which is effective okay so there is a baseline there is a baseline a minimum thing which she can think about which puts her mind at ease and fo and helps her focus on doing this rather than worrying about the big goal and then she has her method in place that she does not stop at this she always tries to stretch now over here again we have Don he's trying to write a book now the traditional hard daily goal would be let me write 500 words this will not work a better approach would be split it into two things so have a smaller unit let me write 50 words and then he always remembers to stretch let me do 100 let me do 200 let me do 300 so i hope this video has helped you and if you put this into practice you will see that you will be able to be at peace with yourself without worrying about the hard goal that you have set for yourself which you have to complete today itself you rather first focus on the smaller unit success breeds always success so once you have achieved your smaller unit your motivation motivation level is high and then without fail because you know this technique you have to force yourself you have to stretch yourself you have to try to do more in this way you will be able to set for yourself hard goals and Hard goals are always more effective than easy goals as well as you will be able to stretch yourself and you will not have the negative effect of hard goals which is burnout, frustration and failure. I hope you like this video. Thank you for watching. All the best in your endeavors.